Bill of Exchange and Overview. Hey sis, what are you doing? Making a sandwich for myself. Please do not ask me to make one for you as I have loads of work to do. Are you suggesting that I make you do all my work? Absolutely, you are smart. Now that you already know, how about lending me some money? I have to buy a birthday gift for Sara and my pocket money is due next month. Why don't you just buy it on credit? On credit? What is that? Goods can be bought on credit with the help of bills of exchanges or promissory notes. Let me explain. According to the Negotiable Instruments Act of 1881, a bill of exchange is defined as an instrument in writing containing an unconditional order signed by the maker directing a certain person to pay a certain sum of money only to or to the order of a certain person or to the bearer of the instrument. Thus, a bill of exchange is a form signed by one party to request a sum of money from another party. It is used most often by importers and exporters. Once the draft is accepted or guaranteed by a bank or a company, it becomes a banker's acceptance. 1. Shahajog Hundi 2. Darshini Hundi 3. Muddati Hundi There are few other varieties of Hundis like Nam Jog Hundi Dhani Jog Hundi Jawabi Hundi Hokhami Hundi Firman Jog Hundi and so on. The features of a bill of exchange are 1. A bill of exchange must be in writing. 2. It is an order to make payment. 3. The order to make payment is unconditional. 4. The maker of the bill of exchange must sign it. 5. The payment to be made must be certain. 6. The date on which payment is made must also be certain. 7. The bill of exchange must be payable to a certain person. 8. The amount mentioned in the bill of exchange is payable either on demand or on the expiry of a fixed period of time. 9. It must be stamped as per the requirement of law. A bill of exchange is generally drawn by the creditor upon his debtor. Let me explain this with an example. Suppose Mrs. Shaw, the owner of Archie's Gallery, sells you a gift worth 5,000 rupees for Sarah from her shop on credit for two months. To ensure payment on due date, she draws a bill of exchange upon you for 5,000 rupees payable after two months. This bill of exchange has to be accepted by the drawee or debtor or someone on his or her behalf and remains just a draft till its acceptance is made. Hence, a bill of exchange will come into existence only after writing the word accepted and appending the drawee's signature on it, there to communicate his or her acceptance. The parties to a bill of exchange are Drawer is the maker of the bill of exchange A seller or creditor who is entitled to receive money from the debtor can draw a bill of exchange upon the buyer or debtor. The drawer, after writing the bill of exchange, has to sign it as maker of the bill of exchange. Drawee he is the person upon whom the bill of exchange is drawn. Drawee is the purchaser or debtor of the goods upon whom the bill of exchange is drawn. Pay. This is the person to whom the payment is to be made. 
The drawer of the bill himself will be the pay if he keeps the bill with him till the date of its payment. The pay may change in the following situations. A. In case the drawer has got the bill discounted, the person who has discounted the bill will become the pay. B. In case the bill is endorsed in favor of a creditor of the drawer, the creditor will become the pay. If the bill is retained by Mrs. Shaw for two months and the amount of 5,000 rupees is received by her on the due date, then she will be the pay. In most of the cases, the drawer and the pay are the same person. In the given example, Mrs. Shaw is the drawer as well as pay and you, Rickin, are the drawee and acceptor as well. Now let me twist this example a bit to explain a different scenario. First, if Mrs. Shaw endorses this bill in favor of a creditor Ruchi, then Ruchi will be the pay. Second, if Mrs. Shaw gets this bill discounted from the bank, then the bankers will become the pay. Third, if I, Rihanna, had accepted the bill, Instead of you, then I would become the acceptor. Correct me if I am wrong. Payee is the person to whom the payment is made and acceptor is the person who accepts the bill. Correct. Now sometimes it is the buyer who issues a note promising the seller to make the payment at a future date. Such a note is called a promissory note. What is that? Let me explain in detail. According to the Negotiable Instruments Act of 1881, a promissory note is defined as an instrument in writing, not being a bank note or a currency note, containing an unconditional undertaking signed by the maker to pay a certain sum of money only to or to the order of a certain person or to the bearer of the instrument. However, according to the Reserve Bank of India Act, a promissory note payable to the bearer is illegal. Therefore, a promissory note cannot be made payable to the bearer. It is a document signed by a borrower promising to repay a loan under agreed upon terms and is also called note. Following features of a promissory note emerge out of the above definition. 1. It must be in writing. 2. It must contain an unconditional promise to pay. 3. It must be signed by the maker. 4. The sum payable must be certain. 5. It must be payable to a certain person. 6. It should be properly stamped. A promissory note does not require any acceptance because the maker of the promissory note himself promises to make the payment. The parties to a promissory note are Maker or drawer he is the person who makes or draws the promissory note to pay a certain amount as specified in the promissory note. He is also called the promiser, drawee or payee. He is the person in whose favor the promissory note is drawn. He is called the promisee. Generally, the drawee is also the payee unless it is otherwise mentioned in the promissory note. In the specimen of promissory note shown here, Rickon is the drawer or maker who promises to pay 5,000 rupees and Mrs. Shaw is the drawee or pay to whom payment is to be made. Now let me twist this example a bit again to explain a different scenario. First, if Mrs. Shaw endorses this promissory note in favor of Ruchi, 
then Ruchi will become the pay. Second, if Mrs. Shaw gets this promissory note discounted from the bank, then the bank will become the pay. Distinction between bills of exchange and promissory note are as follows. Usage of bill of exchange is more frequent in business due to following advantages. Framework for relationships. Certainty of terms and conditions. Convenient means of credit. Conclusive proof. Easy transferability. Meaning of the following basic terms related to bills of exchange. 1. Maturity of bill A. Maturity date The date on which a bill of exchange or a promissory note becomes due for payment is called maturity date. B. Days of grace If the bill of exchange is payable after the expiry of a particular period of time, the date of maturity will be calculated after adding three days and these days are known as grace days. Let me explain this with an example. Suppose if a bill dated 5th March is payable 30 days after the date, the maturity date will be 7th April that is 33 days after 5th March, including the 3 days of grace. In case the bill dated 5th March is payable after a month of the date, the maturity date will be 8th April, that is, 34 days after 5th March, including the 3 days of grace. This is because the month of March has 31 days. Now, there can be two more cases under which the maturity date may change. First, where the date of maturity is a public holiday, the instrument will become due on the preceding business day. In this case, if 8th April falls on a public holiday, then 7th April will be the maturity date. Second, when an emergent holiday is declared under the Negotiable Instruments Act of 1881 by the Government of India, which may happen to be the date of maturity of a bill of exchange, then the date of maturity will be the next working day immediately after the holiday. In this case, if the government declared a holiday on 8th April under the Negotiable Instruments Act, then 9th April will be the date of maturity for this bill. Discounting of bill Meaning, when holder of the bill takes amount from a bank against the bill before due date, it is known as discounting of bill. Discounting charges The amount charged by the bank for discounting the bill is called discounting charges. 3. Negotiation or endorsement of bill Meaning It means the transfer of the bill from one person to another person. This implies that the title of the document can be transferred from one person to another through endorsement and delivery. Hence, it is a negotiable instrument. Endorser The person endorsing the bill is known as endorser. Endorsee The person to whom the bill is endorsed is called endorsee. 4. Dishonor of a bill Meaning, when the acceptor refuses or is unable to pay the amount of bill on maturity date is known as dishonor of bill. 
noting charges. When a bill is dishonored, the holder of the bill takes the bill to the committee of persons appointed for this purpose by the court, which is known as notary public. The notary public charges a small fee for providing its services, which is called noting charges. 5. Renewal of a bill Meaning when the troy of the bill is not able to make the payment on the maturity date, then he may request the holder of the bill to cancel the old bill and draw a new bill. And if he agrees to do so, that is known as renewal of bill. When the old bill is renewed, the drawer charges interest for the extended period. 6. Retiring of the bill Meaning When the joy makes the payment of a bill before the maturity date, it is known as retiring of a bill. Rebate The discount allowed by the holder of the bill when the payment is made before the maturity date is called rebate. To summarize Negotiable instruments like bill of exchanges and promissory notes assist the trader or a businessman to buy or sell goods on credit. That was some interesting piece of information. But since it is used by traders and businessmen, why don't you just give me the money and not miss an opportunity to shop? Alright, I will come along and buy the gift. But I hope you understood what I explained. Absolutely! As you said, I'm smart. <laughs>